Hey, online family, welcome to day three of our Faith Conquers Fear devotional, where we're looking at God's Word and discovering what He says concerning fear and faith, and how you and I can apply these principles in a practical way during this time. Our topic today is praying your cares away. No one can deny that we are living under incredible pressure. Sometimes life seems like one continuous deadline. With projects to finish, problems to face, relationships to hold together, we can begin to feel like a firefighter trying to put out a forest fire with a glass of water. These are challenging times. Stress-related problems have become major in the United States. Americans consume over 60 million anti-stress tablets annually. Every hour, every day on average, three persons commit suicide because they cannot cope with stress. But what is true of the world does not have to be true for the person who has a relationship with the Heavenly Father. The Father loves us and has made quite an investment in us. We are very special to Him. This is what Jesus teaches us in the Sermon of the Mount. He says, Do you not worry for what you will eat or drink or wear? The Heavenly Father knows you have need of all of these things. Besides, don't you see how He takes care of the birds of the air and the grass of the field? If He takes care of such things, and you are far more valuable to Him than they, of course He will take care of you. So instead of letting stress ruin your life, what could you do? In 1 Peter 5, 6 and 7, we read these words, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all of your care upon him, for he cares for you. The Amplified Version translates verse 7 like this, casting the whole of your care, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all on him, for he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. Now this is a special invitation from the Heavenly Father to allow him to take care of our stressors. The word translated casting literally means to throw something. So God tells us to throw our problems upon him. That is to push them away from us and let them land in his hands. Make him responsible for them. That is why he has given us his word. And that is what prayer is for. He invites us to cast all. That means he wants every one of our problems, every type, personal, family, financial, physical, spiritual, emotional, cares for the present, cares for the future. Why? He cares for us. In the Greek text, the word cares is in the present tense, active voice, and the indignant mood. The present tense means that the action is ongoing without stopping. The active voice means the Lord himself is the agent causing the action. The indicative mood means that what is being said is not speculation or a mere possibility. It is a current fact. Put all these things together and you conclude that the Heavenly Father himself and not anyone less than he is actively involved all the time without stopping in caring for us. And this is no mere conjecture. This is fact that you can rest upon for sure. So there you have it. Instead of letting stress ruin your life, you can pray your cares away. Let God handle them. He is far better equipped than you to do so. Your Heavenly Father cares for you. He really does. So what are your thoughts? Please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for joining us for day three. Please share the video and help encourage others and join us tomorrow for day four. Now here's our affirmation for today. I will cast the whole of my cares, all my anxieties, all my worries, all my concerns once and for all on Him because He cares for me affectionately and cares about me watchfully. Hey, thanks for joining us for today's devotional. I pray that it was a blessing to you. And as you listen, you may have realized that you don't have a relationship with the Lord or you are uncertain about your relationship or you know what? I have a relationship with the Lord, but I just need some prayer and some additional encouragement during this time. Listen, we want to help and we want to be a blessing. So if you would simply click the link below, we have some resources that we want to make available to you that will help you. God bless you.